Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to more Battle Brothers. We're at day 52, midday. I'm Liz. We just did a big-ass Ancient Auxiliary mission here where we killed a whole bunch of Auxiliaries and Legionaries, actually. Uh, and we need to return to Kallenberg. That was way more than I was expecting for a 750 crown uh, um, contract. But on the other hand, we handled it extremely well, taking advantage of the high ground and terrain and keeping everybody in good condition. We, we, we had one person in a sticky... Well, two people were in sticky situations. The first guy got in a sticky situation, holding a line. We rotated him out for somebody else, and then that guy eventually got worn down to the point where he was getting a little bit weak in the armor. But it was just armor. We didn't take that much HP damage at all, and I am impressed. 222 is not so good, but we do need more tools, so we are going to buy it. I think we're okay for food. Yeah, we should be fine for food to make it back to town. There's nothing else I wanted to buy from here real quick, is there? This male shirt is a really good price. Like, 500 is good. Thing is, I don't think I need a basic male shirt. Like, I think I'm totally over basic male shirts. Or, I have basic male shirts on people, but uh, I think I'm beyond needing them. I've got some worn mail here, but our fatigue is also not stellar. Got Warren Mail, I've got Warren Mail. All the people who have Warren Mail don't have Stellar Fatigue. Oh, we do have Hagen though. Hagen leveled up. So Hagen is gonna get plus four fatigue, yes please. Also plus three melee skill, yeah, that's good. And I'm thinking oh no, you need resolve, sir. Yes. He actually broke in the last mission against the undead. I guess ancient, technically. But um yeah, that's why. His resolve is nothing. His perk are we actually gonna need um uh, where is it? Are we going to need Fortified Mind for him? I hope not. So his perk, he has a lot of HP already. We could do the whole Colossus thing, or we could go for Crippling Strikes. Alternatively, we could go for Student, because he has a shit ton of HP already. If we go for Student, maybe we can level him up real quick. Maybe do we get, like, Student and Gifted, perhaps? Okay, so we get level 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, so we get three extra perks that we don't see here. Like it's not just tears going up. So the question is, what will we want to build then? I mean I could take student. Student we're gonna get an extra perk afterwards. It's gifted that's the question. Do we want to take gift? I think we do. He has such poor melee skill but he has two stars in it which means if we get max rolls on it from gifted we might get him up to a really good place. Okay we're gonna take student. And then we're going to take Gifted at his next level. And then eventually we're going to come back and get another perk for placing Student. So, excellent. I've got a whole bunch of trade goods on me. I've got those two um, goody good things. What's the sale price here? Not very good. Let's leave and we'll head south. It's evening. I don't want to do this at night. Okay, let's go across the mountain. We're going to follow the mountains through. We're not going to follow the road through the woods. Because there were brigands. Oh, well, you know what? A company just came through. The first Shudshans, Sudshans company. Oh, there's a battle site. They killed them. During a short rest, your men managed to catch a man that tried to make off with some of your supplies. His clothes are but rags, and he looks more skeleton than man. We know what to do to skeletons. What are you going to do with him? Give that poor guy some food and water. Give him a good beating, or put him to the sword. Can we give him a sword and make him a member of our company? Give him a good beating. Otto the Brave gives the thief a proper beating with a short cane. The shaft lands viciously hard, and you can hear the sound of the blows passing as the man almost hollow frame. He wilts and turns and tries hard to get away, but the sellsword is persistent in me meeting out the punishment. When it's all said and done, you leave the beaten man behind, whimpering and clutching the dirt between his frail fingers. Let this be a lesson to you. I mean, we could have asked him why he needed the food. Maybe he needed it for his family. No, we don't give a shit. We're fucking sellswords. You try and take from us, we're going to stop you from taking from us, and then we're going to beat the shit out of you. I don't go around robbing people. I don't go stealing people with all the shit that they have. Uh, but if you try and rob from me, I will take whatever you have after I beat the shit out of you. It's the price you pay for attempting robbery. There are tracks. They're going this direction, so it's probably a caravan. If it's brigands here, I'd be pissed off. I don't want to get ambushed in the forest. 
Yeah, no. These tracks made it through. Nobody's here to ambush in the forest. Good. That's the one reason I don't like going east of Colinburn, you know, the whole forest thing. 750 crowns, and they're in high spirits. Aren't they missing villagers, though? Yeah, they have disappearing villagers. This is why I can't buy shit from them. I wanted to get rid of disappearing villagers. Well, they still have a decent price on goat cheese, though. So we'll take some more goat cheese. Um, fuck. Give me a contract to get rid of your disappearing villagers. That's what I actually wanted. Damn you guys. Damn you guys. Well, we've got crap tons of stuff uh, in trade goods. So let's go to Weissenfels. And then we will he head to uh, Dregrafen after that to sell all of our trade goods. There might be more copper in Weissenfels by now. We've been gone for a long time. Let's uh, speed to it a little bit along the road during the daytime because we can see quite well. Although, speed one it here, we might get ambushed out of the forest. Nope, the second Urlock company is here. Apparently that little town in the south has a 14-man company patrolling up the Weissenfels. Interesting. What's our daily wage? 196 crowns. We're going somewhere in the world. We're almost at 200 crowns daily. Uh, they do have a contract. What is it? How you doing, Sellsword? Nice catch. Doesn't taste half bad. I'm all ears. It's good to see you. We've lost the flute of the debaucher. This relic is of great import to us. Jeez, do I have to fight more undead? Go and retrieve it. Let's talk the money. 1090. Will you pay me more? No. At the Crypt of Yalfargo. I'm going to need to think about this one. And by I'm going to need to think about this one, I'm thinking I'm not going to do this one. But I do want to go to the marketplace and see. Yeah, you've got some more copper and salt. Can I afford it all? Yes. I can. I have everything, everything tied up in trade goods right now. If we get ambushed and just murdered to death, or if somebody robs us, like if it's not brigands, like if what if a company on the road has an event with us that tries to rob us, we're in trouble. Can we get here before dusk or before night? Yes, we can. Okay, marketplace. So they have ambushed trade caravans, but we're still getting super good prices here. So, hey, say goodbye to all of our salt. Say goodbye to all of our copper. Say goodbye to our wolf pelts, because we don't have a tailor. Say goodbye to these ornate tomes. And we have seven grand, just like that. And we can still sell more, because flails... Oh my god, the price on flails is amazing. So yes, we can sell, 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 sell here. Ancient spear, go away. Um, these ancient weapons, go away. Ancient shields can go away. Oh shit, we just sold the male quaff. We shouldn't have done that. But, you know, we're fine. We're fine. We only need one of these for now, just in case we have an emergency come up. Ancient helms go away. Ancient armor go away. Your fatigue's just not worth it. Uh, Damage Morningstar can go away. Yeah, we're up to eight grand now. That's another thousand. Jesus. That was, that was mighty good. That was mighty, mighty good. Things are a little expensive here. They do have cloth, but yeah, everything from here down is us selling to them. More stuff than they had already. Hey, Armorer, we just, we just made a tidy profit in your town. And you're giving us crappy prices. Wow, are you giving us shitty-ass prices. I guess you have ambush trade routes, so I'm not surprised. But still. What was this? Deliver cargo to Lothar and Kallenberg to the east. You know, I just went to Kallenberg, but I had a different quest going on, so... No. This is probably going to get rid of the trade. Yeah, brigands. Let's talk money. 130 and 500 when the job is done. Drive off the brigands at Overgrown Woodcutter's Hut west of Dregrafen. We accept this contract. Because I need, I need you to not have ambush trade routes. I kind of need to be able to buy from you. So we're pretty good all around. Everybody's in good shape. Um, I really do want to keep Hagen alive now. We'll see what his gifted perk is. Like his, his gifted level up. We'll see how he looks after the, these next two level ups. From his actual level 3 and gifted. Um, if he's looking really good. He might become my new favorite. Which means, you know, that's me saying 
you're as good as dead, Hagen, because you know what happened to, to Karsten when I said he was my favorite. Uh, but we shall see. Where is this? It's not very far away at all, and it is definitely brigands, because it has a brigand flag on it, so that's good. We should go inspect it and see if we can fight at night. Um, I do have archers. Oh! Right! I, I bought a cart. So I can carry more stuff now, because I have a cart. But we just spent 5,000 crowns to do it. So we had eight. So five, six, seven, eight. I'm down to three again. But I'm kind of okay with that. I completely forgot that this was our ambition. We fulfilled an ambition to get, uh, what was it, 7,000 or 7,500 crowns? And we bought a cart. It costs 5,000. I gain inventory space. Everybody is in good spirits. The company gains renown. And if we take a look at our inventory now, it is how big? It is 117 big now instead of whatever it was before. And we haven't gotten the events for inventory space from our caravan dudes. Do I have caravan dudes still? Or are they all dead? I, yeah, you're day tailors. Day tailor, farmhand, farmhand, companion, day tailor, messenger, farmhand, messenger, poacher, companion, companion, messenger. So I have three mess. I don't even have a caravan hand anymore. Well, we're going to have a new ambition soon. I wonder what we're going to do. Oh, we should probably restock food while we were there. No, I'm going to have enough to make it here and do the job. Not if I have to wait around till daytime. It might actually be daytime by the time I get there now. I was thinking if there are lots of marksmen we want to fight at night, even if I have my own uh, archers, my own snipers. Some marksmen and some raiders. Yeah, and it's dawn, so... Let's engage. It's on the edge of the forest, but it is in the open. This is open, right? Yeah, grassland. There's just some trees. <sighs> Fuck you! <sighs> Fuck you! Are you bleeding? Pierced hand, injured shoulder, Jost is loaded with armor, is at literally 1 HP on turn 1, before he even has a chance to act. I mean, I'm supposed to do that to them, not the other way around. Assholes. So they're going to move in now. Their crossbows aren't going to do anything, but if you guys move and leave the archers open, I'd be glad to snipe them for you. Yeah, cool. I'd be glad to snipe them for you. Thank you for obliging us. So, so lovely. Uh, yeah, you're going to have to stay. You are going to have to stay. Ulfert. They got some kite shields going on, don't they? Also, boar spear, arming sword, morning star, flail. These guys are armed okay. He's got a falchion up here. He's actually going to be the easiest one to kill, potentially. Although, two-handing a falchion means he's going to be able to do a lot of damage. Ulfert is a spear master, so his spear wall won't be broken. And he'll probably, he'll definitely act after these guys. So, yeah, you know what? He's going to spear wall. Yep. So, Jost, with your one friggin' HP, you're definitely not bleeding. Pierced hand, injured shoulder, no first aid, so you are not currently bleeding. Okay. With your one ass HP, you need to run the fuck away. Like, you can't even participate in this battle anymore, I'm sorry. I think we do actually come up here and attack this guy. And we go to put the herd on him. So we will move on him. We're going to try and engage him quickly. You can spear wall as well, Hagen, because you can. I don't want to move up too fast onto these guys, though. The archers... Oh, you know what? The archers... Shit, I forgot to move them back to their bows. I skipped their turn because they had pikes armed. And I was like, oh, they're pikemen, blah, blah, blah. No, I forgot to put them back as bows. That That's, that's a big mistake. That's a huge mistake, a colossal mistake. Yeah, after that last battle, man... So he's going to move up and shoot and, well, hit our shield, but miss. Also a miss. Yeah, so you know what? You need to switch back to your bow because I need you sniping. You can't take an aimed shot, but you can take a quick shot. You can hit him in the back. Do it. No. Okay, fine, Raymond. Fine. Actually, you weren't Raymond. You were the dog. Now it's Raymond's turn to do the exact same thing, except he can't shoot him. So he's going to take a 34, I think, right? Yes, 34, and also miss. Great. 
All right, well, now we're going to see what the enemy does this turn because I've been waiting this whole time to find out. I am a little worried up here. We're good for range defense, I think. We've got kite shields. You've got a round shield. And they are shooting you or the people in the back row, one or the other. They're missing. Thank goodness. Hits our kite shield. Excellent. Okay, now we can start taking aim shots. 77, 67, 40, or 81 on him. We can actually take a quick shot on these guys too. 53. Quick shot 61 is pretty solid. And I do want to kill their crossbows. Yeah, let's take that. And again. Nice. We didn't kill. He took a hit, and he's reposting. That sucks. Okay. Javelins. Great. Does nothing, though. Excellent. Do we move up? I think we have to move up then. Um, we're going to hold our turn. These two are going to act first. What these two do is going to decide what we're going to do. So yeah, hold your turn. Hold your turn. Shield walls and moves in and gets pushed back. Shield wall. Move in. Gets pushed back. Okay. So you know what? We're going to move up because they've used some fatigue. But before we move up, we need to take some shoddy shots. What are we going to take shoddy shots on? Uh, this brigand marksman, perhaps? 33, 66, 33. Did we injure this guy? We did. Pierce side, pierce leg muscles. I don't think that's going to prevent him from really shooting us. We're going to take doubles on this guy. We might... Yeah, that's pretty good. What do we injure? Ripped ear. Also not the best in the world. You can't hit him. That's unfortunate. The axe can hit him, though, so that's okay. You are going to pass your turn for now. You don't have a shot on him either from up here, but you can move down into a location where you can. I think you should move down. Are you not able to move into this grassland? Why are you not able to move into this? Where the fuck are you that you can't move? Is in opponent's zone of control. Yes, I know. You have the ability to do it. See? Look. See? Look. Now you... What the fuck was happening? Uh, yeah, just go for a standard hit on this guy. Hit the head, hit the body, I don't care. You have a flail, you're more likely to hit the head either way. You're, you, you went here so you can activate a zone of control for our axeman here, so he's not going to be flanked. That's why. You are going to run away into a... behind a tree in a bush. Congratulations. He is reposting, so we are going to shield wall and swing. Very good. Uh, I think we should be moving up here. If we move up, we can get our axes to bear on them. And he's got javelins out right now, so he's not going to have his good weapon for future turn. He's got a flail, so we have a chance of, you know, beating that. So yeah, we're going to move up, and we will take hits on him. And apparently fail. Unfortunately, that will expose our people, won't it? Yeah, that maybe not be the best move in the world. Well, we're going to do it with you guys, at least. He is starting to waver a little bit. That's good. You also will take a shield wall and speary spear him because he is reposting, so we don't want to run into a problem. You're going to block for these two. Ulf is currently not protected, but he can move. Yeah, he can move into here, and he'd be protected. I need the archers to be protected, though. And one of the archers is not. I think you have to stay here, unfortunately, Hagen. But that's okay, right? Also, you're, you are protected because you're behind him. That's fine. So, Brigand Raider. I mean, you can reach over his shield, so let's just go for a hit on him, potentially. Uh, you're going to move up to be protected by them. And you're going to have a 38 and a 65. Ooh, very good. That cut his neck vein. Is that a bleeding injury? That sounds like a bleeding injury to me. Can you get up here? No, you can't get far enough. I can move you back here. I can move you here. Would be blocked for the most part. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's hope Ulf doesn't fucking die now as a result of this. I would very much like if Ulf didn't just fucking die as a result of this. You're going to stay here and block for our archer. Miss. You're moving up. 
You're moving back and up, so you're not acting. He's bleeding. That's excellent. I like to see that. They're moving because I'm hitting them. That's why they're moving. Well, we're going to shoot you at 30% then. Twice, because we might miss and hit one of your dudes. Okay, that sucked, and we're out of armor now, so he's going to need help up there. I can't get in and swing on him, so... Good hit, sir. Good hit. He is going to shoot. He's going to miss, though. Okay. And you. You can 39 him. 19. 19. Let's go for the 239s. You killed him! Very good. You're just going to do nothing. Yeah, you I'm not too worried about. You should be able to win your one-on-one -on -one just fine. 34 and 44. Or we can go for a shield break. Shield break would leave him dual wielding. 44 is going to kill this guy, and they're all going to get morale now. Okay, you are going to move up to assist here. They're going to need more help here. Oh, are they ever. They need to shield wall, actually. They, they basically have to shield wall. If they don't shield wall, they're just fucked. 44 and a 44, that's a nut. Okay, he missed our skull. That's a good thing. 55% to hit. Because we bypassed that shield. He's going to move up. I can't actually push back with you. Why no zone? Oh, but that is a zone of control, but it's from there. Oh, that's nasty. On the bright side, he's only got a boar spear. And we've got a 68%... Uh... Okay. What we're going to do is this, then. Now, I, Wolfgang the Colossus, am your opponent. Our armor is spent. Is he reposting? He is not. He is double gripping, though. I need to shield wall, and I need to get the killy kill on this guy. You are okay. So let's get the killy kill. Oh, good. Shield wall was wasted then, but it wasn't really wasted because, you know, reasons. He retreats, and he's he's gone. Whatever, I don't care. He's got a light crossbow. This guy has a full-strength crossbow. Actually, does he have a full-strength crossbow? No, he doesn't. This guy does, though. And this guy's got a hunting bow. I don't need either of them, but uh, it is intriguing to know that that's what they have. So he's going to move in. He's going to move up. You're going to hide like a little girl. Uh, you can take an aimed shot on him, can't you? No, you can't take an aimed shot. Not quite. Uh, it must be... What's going on? What time of day is that right now? We don't have a nighttime penalty, do we? No. Interesting. I don't know. We're not getting the extra aim on him, though. Oh, he's on high ground. That's why it acts like an extra, you know. Uh, so we've got 40% on him. We could take an aimed shot if we want. 9%, yeah, right. 29. No, we'll just go for 40s. We'll do two 40s. No, neither of them successful. That's fine, I suppose. Do I just want to crush this asshole's armor already? No, not really. We got a good hit with the flail last time, so we're just going to keep taking hits on him. Uh, you've got hits on 59 and 44. Good hit, sir. Good, solid hit. 57 and 45. Good kill, and now you've got another marksman retreating as a result of that. 43. Could potentially kill. Does not kill, but, you know, it could have potentially killed. 18%. But we have a chance of hitting the guy in the front. Or that happens. We're not going to shoot that. We have a chance of hitting our own guy. This guy's only two away, so it's guaranteed not to hit our guy. We also didn't kill him, but that's fine. Uh, you don't get a shot from any of these locations. So move into the bush. And you, sir, have the best chance at getting this guy... <laughs> by giving him the old reach around. I love giving him the reach around with Jess. Look, his fatigue is fine. Because he is a flail master. 
25% less fatigue on those attacks. That's why you want mastery. It's not always for the specialty thing that it gives you, like the uh, extra ability. A lot of the time is just because of the fatigue reduction. I really don't want to break this guy's shield if I don't have to. So Wolfgang, move on in. And take a 50%. That's actually pretty solid. Um, you know what? Just hide in the bush, Edmund. You did well. You did a good job. You tied a guy up. He was dual wielding a uh, cleaver, and he did. He worked a number on you, but you did a good job. You did your job well with your arming sword, and uh, you can take a rest now, bro. Okay, so we've got a few people who can bring attacks onto this guy. We'll get a little bit closer with uh, Ed Stark there. What's he gonna do? He's in retreat as well. He doesn't look like it. He's not actually like broken morale wise, but he is in retreat. This is not close enough to do anything, but whatever. This is, and I really don't want to break his shield if I don't have to. So we will attempt to do this without breaking it. Let's move into here. We're not gonna do anything else. You can stab you stab. 63, oh nice, good job. Ulf, that's why you're the Sarge. Okay, well, we're not chasing these guys down, so that is it. Uh, they are out of battle once they retreat. It's over. We win. Any promotions? Yes, Ulfert got a level up from that. Nice. Maybe he'll have the fatigue that I could give him better armor. So we got two padded dented nasal helms kind of shitty you know I've got better on almost everybody and I still have two of them there I got three kite shields that's gonna be good for our stock uh, also another arming sword very good so I'm doubled up on arming swords now a new flail they're worth a crap ton of money uh, thick tunic is useless to me also the rugged surcoat a bit of money also a regular full-strength crossbow which I'm probably just gonna sell and salt salt and beer well, the beer is not worth much, but the salt. The salt is real. Uh, realizing their defeat, a few last surviving brigands drop their weapons and ask for mercy. You now wonder what they would do were the shoes on the other foot. Do we slit their throats or take their arms and chase them away? We take their arms and chase them away. You have them stripped of their skivvies, if they even had them, and blah, blah, blah. We are not getting paid for murdering people. We were getting paid for stopping the bandits, and we did stop the bandits. Um, what? Did I not take the loot? Did I not press the take the loot button, guys? There is an option to automatically take loot. And I guess I don't have that turned on, but did I not press the take the loot button? Because the loot for that was really good. Like, really good. I got a new arming sword. There was salt. There was, there was the two helmets that I didn't care about, but there, there, like... Fuck you guys. I'm going home. Dre Graffin, I guess we go. Hey, hey, you know what? Karsten died, and I didn't save Scum then, did I? Am I going to do it now because I forgot to press keep the loot? No, it wouldn't help anyway because it would be a totally different battle with totally different loot. That's it. That, 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 that's all there is to it. You know, we just got to just gotta move on. Move on. We got enough tools to repair our shit at the very least. We're running out of tools and money as we approach town. 500 crowns for that. That would have been like, you know, a 2,000 crown job if I had taken the loot. Fuck. I'm salty about that. Wow. Just give me everything you have as compensation for me not taking the loot. No? Okay. Yeah, so they no longer have ambush trade routes and all that shit that I recently sold to them. Nice. 3,700 cash bucks because I bought a cart. I was at eight grand and then I bought a fucking cart. Wonder when the new ambition will take over. Uh, they do have a contract here. It's travel to Collenberg, right? Yeah, we don't want to do that. All right. Well, 
We have no, we do, Jost, right, Jost got hit twice at the start of that, he got himself an injured shoulder and a pierced hand, so let's take care of that, and let's also do our uh, level ups, our promotions, there was only one of them, what's Jost's range defense, what's his fatigue, 67, god we had three kite shields as well, oh I would have distributed more kite shields to people, so Ulfert got a promotion. Unfortunately, Hagen didn't get another one yet, but Ulfert got a promotion. Um, let's take a look at this. He's going to be level 6. Yeah, I'll take plus 3. I'm not going to get plus 1 in melee, so you're going to be a spearman your entire life, I think. You will get melee defense at this. Your, your, oh man, your resolve is so low. So low. But this is a really poor resolve roll. Honestly, I'm, I'm honest. I'm just gonna give you HP because you roll plus four in it. But damn, that's bad. Perks. So you have crippling strikes. You have dodge. So you're one of the people I gave dodge to. You've been with us for a while, then, Alvert. I'm surprised you're not dead yet. Uh, also, you have rotation, which is good. That's fantastic. And you're a spear master. So, we're going to give you Brawny, right? Either that or Shield Expert. It would be cool if Shield Expert actually reduced the fatigue from having a shield as well. And from using the Shield Bash ability. Or Knockback, or whatever it is. I mean, Shield Expert would give you extra... We'd have to give you a... Ugh, ha, ha. We'd have to give you a... Um, uh heater shield then, or a kite shield rather. But you do have 71 fatigue now. We could give you brawny and then we could give you better armors. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. We're going to give you brawny. You're going to go to 77 fatigue and now we can start giving you better armors as well. Because we kind of need to, don't we? If you're going to be with us for very much longer, you're definitely going to need more armor. Okay, it's done. Brawny it is. Would it be nice if the archers started that battle, you know, in archer mode, right? Fuck my life. Who is here to hire? Right, nobody basically. Sir Rabe. Adventurous noble. Okay, well, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Next time, I'm going to get over this whatever the fuck colossal misplay of a mi We should pause while I'm doing this. Misplay of a mission happened, and, uh... Decide what our next course of action is going to be. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you then.